Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about MCP, Model Context Protocol. So first we will understand what is MCP, why it is required. Second step, we will create one custom server using MCP concept. Third step, we test this server using Visual Studio Code. Fourth step, we call this server via our semantic kernel application. Let's start. Normally, an AI model works only with what it already knows, the information it was trained on. It cannot update itself or get fresh real-time data. There is an alternate method is there. We can use function calling to get the uh, real-time data. This is the next level of get the real-time data using MCP concept. So using MCP, the AI can connect to the outside world. It can talk to other services, get live data, and even perform actions, although a secure and simple connection. Technically, MCP works like client-server system concept. The A act as a client, it asks questions, special server handle the connection, get the right information, and send back to the A. This way, the A keeps smart brain, but now it also has the power to reach out and work with real world tools, services, and fresh information. MCP makes A smarter and ready for real world application. Let's dive a little bit down towards MCP. Let's understand MCP in a simple way. MCP is like a USB-C cable. One USB cable can connect your phone, laptop, and many other devices. MCP is a simple method Let's AI model connect to different tools, services, and database. Using MCP, it makes connection easy, safe, and fast. As I mentioned earlier, MCP uses client server system. The AI app acts like a client. It sends requests asking for data or help. The external tool or server act like a server. It listen, process, and request send the answer back to the AI. Developer can build a connector using MCP. The connector can be reused again and again for different services and saving a lot of time. There are also growing community where developers are sharing ready-made servers for popular tools, making it even fast to build smart AI application. Let's move on to our Visual Studio. First, we'll create the custom server. Second step, we test this server using our Visual Studio. Final step, we call this MCP server using our semantic kernel application. In Visual Studio, I have created one console application. In the console application, I added three NuGet packages. One for Microsoft extension hosting. Second one, model context protocol. Third one is a model, model context protocol dot ASP dot net core. These three packages should be installed so that I can host my console application as a server. Once this is done, here I have created one folder called tool. In this folder, I have created one class called external weather tool. This class we already discussed in our semantic kernel application. This class connect to the external service to get weather information. There is no change. The main change here it is in the external weather tool, you had to add the attribute called MCP server tool type. So once you added this tag, so MCP understand this class for accessible for MCP server. So this tag should be added. The second one, the function, okay? This class, what are the function available for MCP server? That we have to mention it. So here I added MCP server tool and description I added get weather information based on the location. That's it. It's a simple plain class add this M MCP attribute. So this class ready to available for our MCP server. And same way I created another tool called book tool. Here I added the tag M MCP server tool and MCP server tool function also I added. This class I define one JSON, just hard code books information and this class contain two function get all books and another one get books by category so get all books return all the books available in the json 
the another function if you pass the category it will return the category based functions books and the main code is program.cs file here we have to use host.create empty application builder so this settings nothing i just pass as a null and here i called the three services one for add mcp server register for mcp server and its core services in the di container second function called with std io server transport configure the server to use standard input output for communication so this transport layer take the client and server communication part and finally i called one more method called with tools from assembly so here there is advantage you know if your project contains multiple tools you no need to add one by one you can just call this function with the tools from assembly so this so this function take care all the tools available for mcp server so i call this one finally we build the application builder and run the application so i just build the project here build solution and make sure we can see the application is running or not so application is running fine we can close this project second step we are going to test this application in our visual studio code for that i go to visual studio code and open the settings option and change this one to the json format so here we have to add our server information so mcp so input tag we have to add and server tag we have to mention our server name and command and argument we have to pass it actually this application has built on the c sharp based so it's not python code is a dot net based so i have to change this argument here so this i need to change it to change this one i just copy paste my code so here i added my server name local mcp server the command is a dot net application argument we have to pass run project and here we have to pass the complete folder path so wherever source code our server code is available so in my pc this uh, application this application server application available in this path uh, c vinod delete sk sample sk sample c sharp mcp local mcp server this path code is available so i have to pass the complete path information and finally we have to add no build so no need to build this application once the server is valid you can see there is a option called start and another the next you see three catched tools so here we added three tools so book tool contain two function get all books and category and the external weather tool contain get weather information so three functions so that means three catched tools available so now i will test our application to test this one go to github open chat and in the down you can see there is a option ask click this box and here you can see three type of option available ask edit agent select the option and if you click this one you can see the three function in our server get weather get books by category get all books so start this server now server is running we can send our command let's say i want to know the weather information so let me know weather in chennai now our agent connect to local mcp server so before running it asks questions if you want to continue or not so it's able to detect the city name is chennai and detect the function also get weather async so it asks the confirmation you want to continue or not if you click continue now our connect to the server get the weather information 
same way we can test books information also send all the available available books so there is no parameter for this function and function called the get all books continue it will get all the available books in our mcp server here introduction algorithm clean code design pattern so if you, we can go and check it out this also so go to the book tool and here you can see the clean code algorithm design patterns so all books written by the server so our server is working fine our final step how to call this server in our semantic kernel application so let's move on to our visual studio and close all the tab here so i don't want to all the tabs close it and i have created one folder called uh, skmcp client so this is my active folder so i set up startup project project settings the first two packages it's must needed first one is a semantic kernel package because this pack this api we are going to use so i added the semantic kernel the second one is a model context protocol so to connect the server we have to use some mcp client apis to use that one we have to add this package next we go to the program.cs file in the program.cs file first we have to create the communication part the transport layer we have to create it for that we have to use the class std io client transport and transport option we have to mention it so here we have to specify our server server name here i define in the books no it should be local mcp server so i just copy this one and change to here my server name is local mcp server the remaining part is same as in visual studio so the command we have to specify dot net and arguments run project path no build so that we have to set in the arguments run project and project path and the no build option we have to set it so once we created the client transport object using the client factory mcp client factory function we have to create the communication part so if we call this create api it return the it make the communication so once we get the communication we can request the available tools so as per our local server there are three tools available so that it will print it here so first we will run this one i return it and here we make console dot read read so that we can see the available function so start the project here we get available tools that means three function available get weather books get all books so our client application able to connect the local server to get all the available tools so close this one go back to our code i don't want to this one and return also i remove it so here our main code started create builder so the builder function i just created the kernel object the next one is the main this one in the plugin in semantic kernel all should be as a plugin function so that semantic kernel ab application able to understand the function and able to call it so whatever we received this mcp tool we have to convert this tool into the semantic kernel application for that we have to call add from function so here we have to specify the plugin name i plugin name i just specified is a local mcp server it's not related to our server name it's just a plugin name you can customize whatever you want second we have to convert the tool into the kernel function so here tools the tools available in this one 
MCP tool list. So select I select one 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 function and call as kernel function. So the tool function converted to the semantic kernel function. That's it. So our tool now available in the kernel function. So whenever it's needed, semantic kernel call this plugin. The plugin internally call the MCP server functions. So let's run the application. I define the prompt list the details of books, including weather information about one city Tanjavur I specified. So we run this application and see the results. So available function, yes. So semantic kernel application send the request to the MCP server. So get available books, also all the books available. Finally we get the weather information also. So this is a simple way to connect semantic kernel application to the MCP server. In upcoming videos, we talk about more about in this concept.